Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Twin D and welcome to my channel guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for subscribing guys. Thank you so so much and of course thanks to Almighty God for bringing us here safe and sound alive and well. So good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good twilight, whatever it is where you are. Guys, it's Aries night and I'll be doing things a little bit different. I want to try and um Please everybody, if I can say that. Um, for the combination, some of you guys want me to do the readings with the sign that your person is, but there are so many, there are so many combinations that I wouldn't even be able to do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do your reading, and then I'm gonna start off with a collective reading, and then do the signs individually so this is aries so if you're dealing with another aries a taurus a gemini a cancer that's the way i'm going to do it and you let me know if this is okay for you guys and if you prefer it this way then i'll stick to this one okay all right guys let's jump in our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen okay aries let's see what's going on for you and this first part of the message is going to be the collective reading for everyone every aries and again no i gotta change it now i am reading your energy divine feminine so this is a divine feminine energy the collective what's going on for you what's happening with your masculines and then afterwards, I'll be doing your individual signs. So if you're a divine feminine dealing with another Aries masculine, or you're a feminine dealing with a Taurus, I hope you get what I'm saying. Okay, what's going on for these Aries, please? What's going on with these Aries divine feminines? What's happening with them, please? In regards to their masculines, what's happening, please? Oh my lord oh my lord oh my lord awesome cards awesome cards <laughs> yes oh my god i love it i love it that's just so straightforward guys aries your divine masculines are gaining clarity here they are getting some understanding in regards to something. It's like they're breaking free from this entrapment that they were in this period of depression, sadness. Now we're, they're overcoming that. Maybe dealing with a Leo ear, water sign, air sign. Another Leo. So we have two Leos here. So Aries, you may be dealing with a Leo. This person is now transforming and changing breaking away from the sadness the depression now all they're seeing is happiness all they're looking forward to is happiness and you are their happiness they want this life with you they're looking for this this joy this peace this love they want to create a family with you aries they want to create a family with you. Oh my gosh. This is not only thinking. This is feeling. So it's like they are aligned. Your mind, body, and soul are aligned. So it's like there's no mistaking. There is no mistaking as to what they are looking for. There's going to be some action here too. There's going to be some action. They have stability. They have stability and they're clear about what it is that they want. Wow, I'm going to get some clarification. Look at that. Stability. What more do you want? The knight and the king. Now all that's left to be seen is the emperor. They are stable. So if you are dealing with a divine masculine who had financial issues, 
there you go. They are financially stable. They are seeing their abundance. They are loving themselves. They are remaining grounded. They are grounding themselves. Knowing what they want, knowing what they desire. Moving, acting towards that. They're no longer hiding, no longer putting on that mask. Hiding their true feelings. They're coming forward. They are coming forward. Let me get some clarification on these guys. Because this is awesome. I just love it. <laughs> no wasting time. No wasting time, Aries. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Why the Ace of Swords for these Aries, please? So this is the masculine energy that I'm reading. Okay, tell me about this Ace of Swords for these Aries, please. What is this Ace of Swords, please? Oh, wow. Honestly, I, I, could, I could feel that card being pulled out of my hand. Honestly. The Eight of Cups. They're walking away from things that no longer serve them. They're walking away from things that... It's like... It's like the passion for those things is just... It's, it's, it's dying. It's burning out. It's burning out and there's something that's brighter over here that's, that, that's lasting, that will last a longer time, a lifetime. It's not something that just... It's just there. It's like it's just there because... I don't know. I don't know. That's the feeling I'm getting. It's like I don't know why it's there. I don't know why I was there. I, do, I don't know what I saw in that thing. I don't know what I thought I could have gotten from there. Now let me go towards where it is abundant. Heading towards their abundance, right? Heading towards their abundance. Now they have clarity. They have that clarity. And this five of cups, please. eight of wands so you and this person you're in separation from your Aries here there's no communication some of you may be blocked but they are going through I wouldn't say the dark night of the soul but they, they are healing they're taking the time to think to heal during during this period of separation with you and your Aries You were shut off. You were shut off from this person. You were shut off from this person. No communication. They were in this period of sadness, depression. They were trying to see the light. They were trying to see exactly what was happening in regards to them in regards to them and you and they figured it out could be dealing with a Gemini they figured it out and they are moving away now they have that strength there to walk away now they have the strength to walk away from the situations that has been holding them back. And they're almost at the shore. They're almost at that point. That point where they're going to step off that boat and walk close to you. Walking towards you. It's like a half of them, they left a half of them behind and the half of them is coming towards you. But the half that they left is the part that they do not like. The insecure part. The not good enough part. The you're not good enough part. 
So they're taking control. They're taking charge of their life. Oh, yes, they are. There you are, Aries, the emperor. So your person is definitely standing in their power. Your person is standing in their power. Tell me about the sun. See, there was a lot of confusion and disappointment here for these. I don't know who they are. <laughs> but there was a lot of disappointment and confusion. Trying to overcome those battles to move past the barriers, the mountains that were standing in their way. Hence that five of cups, the depression, sadness, being blinded, hence that clarity. And again, it's that desire within them, it's that passion that keeps them going, knowing what it is that they truly want. So they're making a change. They're making changes for their happiness. That's what they're heading towards, their happiness. See, they're seeing a bigger picture. They know what they want exactly. Tell me about this Ten of Cups, please. ready to make you that offer they're coming in with a, a surprise an apology will you accept my apology will you accept my apology they're having hope that you will they're waiting for miracles to happen because they know that it will because now they're trusting in God here now all their faith is in God. Oh my God. Ace of Cups. Ten of Cups. Oh Jesus. Yin Yang Twin Flame card. Baby. This person is coming in very soon. Whomever this is. Is coming in very very soon. As I said they've made up their mind. They know what they want. They know where they're heading. And they're trusting God to take them there. Ooh, 1222, Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups reunion. Reunion. Now I'm going to do the individual signs. Okay, so Aries, if you're dealing with another Aries, let's see what's going on between you two. If you're dealing with another Aries, there's no movement at this time. Let me see why there's no, why is there no movement? Oh, someone's in depression someone is sad so excuse me so there's no movement between you and this aries right now because they are in depression they're in depression right now what's the outcome between these aries please what's the outcome oh my god still depression still depression this person is yeah, they need time to heal. If you're dealing with another Aries, they need time to heal. They are still in depression here, and they do need time to heal. This is going to take a while for some healing to occur here. But they are getting there. They are getting there. They're having hope. They're, they know that there is something new that they should move towards. But it's going to take some time. This person has been hurt really, really badly really badly okay if you are dealing with a taurus if you're aries dealing with a taurus let's see what's happening for them please what's happening for them the magician so somebody's creating something brand new here making wishes why this magician please why this magician yeah they are working on something here to bring forward towards you. They are trying to manifest something to come towards you. This person is very passionate about you. 
very passionate they don't want to lose you they're working on themselves they're working on abundance and they're trying to come towards you what's the outcome here ten of cups ten of cups and the nine of pentacles so they know that you're their wish fulfillment they know you're their wish fulfillment so they are manifesting this connection they're manifesting this connection okay gemini if you're dealing with a gemini aries dealing with a gemini what's going on for these aries and gemini's please king of wands so somebody's seeing the bigger picture here your gemini is seeing the bigger picture or it could be the other way around guys you could be the gemini dealing with the aries but you have the king of wands they're seeing the bigger picture they're waking up tell me why the king of wands here things were revealed things were revealed this person was very indecisive in the past there was a lot of in and out. They didn't know if they want to stay. They didn't know if they want to go. Give me one more, please. Now, I think they're trying to manifest your connection also. Yeah. Same thing came out here for you. The Ten of Cups. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, this person is moving towards you, leaving something behind, getting out of heartbreak, getting out of, of pain here. And they're moving towards you for a happy life. Happy and prosperous life. Okay, Cancer. If you're dealing with a Cancer, let's see what's happening. Ace of Cups, baby. Ace of, this Magician card doesn't stop coming out. So there's a lot of manifesting going on here. A lot of manifesting. Your Divine Masculines are manifesting your connection. They're ready to open their heart to you to offer you love. Tell me why this Ace of Cups here for these Cancers, please. You have the Empress and you have Strength on the bottom. So the Empress is in the reverse. Somebody's not standing in their power. Somebody's not standing in their power. Give me one more card on this. And why is the Empress in the reverse? Okay. They're confused. They're confused. That's why they're not standing in their power. They want to come towards you. They want to offer you love. They know things will grow between you and them. They want to return. Someone may be angry. And maybe that's why they are so confused. Because they think that you, the Empress, are angry but they do want to offer you love cancer your person wants to offer you love but they think you are angry at the moment they think you're angry at them but trust me they want to return what's the outcome for this breaking free yeah somebody got to break free from that situation that they are caught up in here that anger issue and your person is also going to be breaking free from that sadness from that indecisiveness and offer you that Ace of Cups. Okay, Leo. If you're dealing with a Leo, the devil, they want to hold on to you, but they also want to let you go. You drive them crazy. But they want to let you go and they want to hold on to you. They're obsessed with you. Oh, wow. The king of swords. See that? They're in their head. They're, they're indecisive. What do I do? Do I let them go? Do I stay? I don't know. How, how, tell me what to do. I need clarity. I need understanding. I don't know what to do. I need balance. I need to be grounded so I know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I know what to do. They're looking for balance here. So your person, Leo, is looking for balance. They're very much confused. They're in love with you. They're obsessed with you, but they don't know if they should let you go or stay. I don't know. What's the outcome here? Four of 
four of cups in the reverse so they're gonna eventually get up out of that energy the next is the three of cups so they're gonna get out out of that sad energy that mental entrapment and they're gonna finally make up their mind to come towards you with union they're trying to make up their mind right now Leo but they're gonna make up their mind if you're dealing with a Virgo I see the outcome if you're dealing with a Virgo oh I'm seeing 414 okay if you're dealing with a Virgo what's going on between you and this Virgo please Hermit, so somebody's closed off right now. Somebody's trying, trying to gain understanding and clarification. So they are just locked away. There's no communication. This person's just trying to heal. They're going to come to a sudden realization. This has taken some time. They're, they're being patient. And they're going to get the answer that, that they see. Give me one more. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna get the answer that they see. They're gonna gain some wisdom while they're in that hermit mode, and they're gonna be able to balance things with you, Virgo. Well, they're the Virgo. <laughs> What's the outcome, please? What's the outcome here? Ah, uh, the three of ones in reverse too. No action, no action, no movement. Well, that's because they're healing. They're healing and they need this time to heal because when they have gone through all of this, the confusion, not knowing what to do, finding themselves, they're going to emerge the emperor. So your person right now, Virgo, they're by themselves, they're healing. But this is the first step towards becoming the emperor. Okay, if you're dealing with a Libra, Aries, if you're dealing with a Libra, let's see what's happening for you. Let's see what's happening for you guys. The hanged man. This person is willing to make a sacrifice. They are looking at things differently. They're making a change. 222 two, two, and that's a 20. They're making a change. What about this hanged man, please? What about this hanged man? Oh boy, they're looking at their wish fulfillment. They're looking at their wish fulfillment. This person's trying to decipher good from bad, if I can just put it that simple. Good from bad. Who means them good? Who means them no good? But they know who their wish fulfillment are, but it's like this indecisiveness. They know they gotta change their perspective. Give me one more. Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. Five of Cups. They gotta make this decision. They want balance. They're looking for balance. They're not fulfilled where they are. They know where their wish fulfillment lies, and that's with you. And they're gonna change their perspective. The Ten of Pentacles. That's what they're looking for. That's what they're desiring. Right now, they're in that energy. Just sad. Sadness. Feeling lost. What's the outcome here, please? Again, they want to rush in towards you. They don't know. They're holding back. They're holding back. The Hierophant, they want to offer you this love. So there's a Libra here who wants to offer you love. Who wants to offer you a commitment. Who is very passionate about you. But they're trying to decipher good from bad. If I make this move, how will this help me? You know, what they're getting things together. No need to worry. In the end, they're always going to be that emperor once the feminine puts the work in. Tell me about the Scorpio, please. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, here's what's up. You have the Seven of Pentacles, Strength, Tower, and the Knight of pentacles so somebody here is getting the strength that they need to break free from anything that has been holding them back god is intervening god is turning things upside down and it is for their own good when all these tower moments happen now your person will be able to move forward towards their desires see towards their desire 
This person sees you as being sexy, handsome, gorgeous. They admire you. They admire you. And your change is happening in the Scorpio's life here. But they know that it's going to lead towards their wish fulfillment. What's the outcome for these Scorpios, please? Mm -hmm. They're going to be seeing things differently. They're going to be transformed. There's a rebirth that's happening. This tower moment is creating this new person. This king. This king. This person had insecurity issues also in the past. This Scorpio had insecurity issues which held them down and those barriers are broken free. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, let's see what's happening here. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, what's going on between these Sagittarius and these Aries, please? Ooh, boy! Sagittarius and Aries. This is a marriage. This is a union. This is a commitment. This bond cannot be broken. There's a union coming in here for you, Sagittarius. That is beautiful. There's balance coming in for you. There's balance coming in for you here. This person is bringing you balance. Give me one more here. This person is not letting you go. Whomever the Sagittarius are, Aries, they're not letting you go. They're not walking away from you. They're not giving up on this situation with them. They're not giving up. They're not giving up. Expect some sort of message that's going to come in from them here. They're not giving up. They don't want to end this situation. What's the outcome for these Sagittarius and Aries, please? They're not giving up. No, 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 no. Now they want happiness. Stop in the fighting. No more depression. No more stress. No more battles. No more arguments. Nothing. They just want happiness and joy. So there's a union coming from you and your Sagittarius. So if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. <laughs> If we're dealing with a Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you. The Six of Cups, somebody's returning to you. You have a Capricorn returning to you here. Five of Pentacles. So someone was left out in the cold because someone was being, someone was in imbalance. Someone was in balance here. This one, this person has no sense of self. They have no sense of self here. So when they left you out in the cold, it wasn't, it, it wasn't like on purpose. This person just has a lot of issue in regards to self-worth. They don't know who they are. But they're working on it. They're working on it. See, they were in balance. Justice in the reverse. They were in balance. They were in balance, but they are planning on returning to you. See? Now they are planning on returning with balance. Six of Pentacles, give and take equally. Because you were giving to them in the past, but they couldn't give anything back to you from the Five of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles. Because they had nothing to give. They had no self-worth, no self-esteem. So they had a lot to work on. What's the outcome between these Capricorns, please, and Aries? Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords and the King of Swords. So somebody is gaining mental clarity here. Someone is going to be taking action. Someone is definitely putting an end to those insecurities. So your person... Is putting an end to those insecurity issues that they have so they can return to you. So they're working on their insecurities for sure and understanding and a way of communicating better with you. 
In other words, they're growing wiser. Wiser every day. Finding their true self. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. Let's see what's going on if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Strength. So they're gaining the strength here. Wow. Wow. This person. Woo. Massive amount of strength this person has now. This person has overcome a lot. Aquarius, your person is being fulfilled. What can you tell me about this strength? Okay, no. Yeah, in the past they were manipulative. They are very manipulative. But they are changing. They have healed a lot. Give me one more. Give me one more, please. Yeah, they're changing, they're healing a lot. Now this person has a sense of self. Now they have a sense of desire, passion. It's like, for, 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 for these Aquarius, it's like, nothing was of value to them in the past. So they would just mistreat others, manipulate them. But now they're getting a sense of self. Give me one more. Bringing in balance, working on their self-esteem. They have to heal here. They had a lot to heal. They had to heal the way that they, they, they communicate, the way that they express themselves. They had to truly find themselves here. What's the outcome for these Aquarius, please? Yeah. Then they'll be able, be able to run towards you. See that? Victory. Victory. This person is already sensing victory. Sensing happiness. This is fast movement too. So this person is going to realize that they were being manipulative. They mistreated you. Because they themselves were also manipulated and being mistreated. So it's like that same energy that they were in, they reflected to others. But they are now having that sense of self, that sense of appreciation. Treating others differently because they know what it's like. They have transformed and they're going to be rushing in towards you. So look out for some communication, Aries, if you're dealing with any. An Aquarius here. And Pisces. If you're dealing with a Pisces, let's see what's going on with you and them. Temperance and the Knight of Wands. Wow. This person is totally happy inside. This person is balancing their energy. This person is working on their feelings. This person never used to express themselves and it's like now they have that that push, that dream to move forward, to be better. There's a lot of action that's going to happen between you and this person. A lot of action. Whoops, sorry. The Six of Cups in the reverse. So this person is moving on. This person is no longer thinking about the past. They're no longer holding on to the past. It's time to move forward. It's time to elevate themselves, raise their consciousness. It's time for them to be at a higher level of consciousness. And they know where they're headed, towards their Nine of Cups, towards their wish fulfillment, towards their Aries. What's the outcome for these Pisces and Aries, please? What did I tell you? Your person is breaking free and moving towards you. It's right there, man. Three, four, four, four. <laughs> they're coming towards you. They're breaking free. They are coming in with the spirit of the Hierophant. This commitment, this union, 
standing up for what they believe in, standing up for what they want. Yeah, they're ready to offer you that love. They're ready to offer you that love. A lot has been revealed. And they're realizing how much they truly love you. Clarity and understanding is a big thing. <laughs> well, guys, this has been your message, Aries. If you like it this way, please let me know. At least I get to cover every sign. So let me know if you like it this way, guys. Take care of yourselves, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow for Taurus's reading. Take care of yourselves. Love you all. Let go and let God.